Hello, everyone. Welcome to Redline Diecast Call. I'm so glad you're here. I'd like to show the Redline era castings so that you can enjoy them like I do. And that is, uh, like example here, during the Flying Colors era, the Ramblin' Wrecker. And a couple things about this car is sometimes right here, this connection point to the, the tow mechanism is broken. Sometimes this uh, little... Uh, part will be chewed off and then the two lights up on top make sure they're there those are tough to find uh, still intact it is white enamel so they're a little bit prone to a couple little dings here and there this one's not perfect but boy it's pretty close yeah it's a nice uh, plastic base of course ramblin wrecker there's a whole history about that we're not going to spend time with that today another with the um the red when the red line era transformed to the enamels the uh, peeping bomb, the uh, Mattel eliminated the mechanism that opened the lights. And so this was a Shell gas station promo car. And it was a way of getting more red lines out to consumers with a fill up of gasoline. 69 cents would get yourself a little baggie with a, a car like this in the in the um in the box so i mean in the bag okay here is a um american victory now the thing about this car is made in canada let's see once here does that show that on the base hong kong canada insignia in the bottom there anyway the tampos are really clean those are nice nice and sharp that's what you want on this guy blue enamel again you know real tough to find immaculate but if you're looking for a little Flying Colors era, there you go. In fact, this engine right here, see, see the engine on there? Look at the engine here. They're the same. So at that time, Mattel was uh, swapping engines. They were sharing engines. They were trying to see if they could keep things as, as close to possible and keep the costs down is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Got a couple engines here. Let's go through the um, through the rear engines first. Let's let's do that. Let's uh, this uh, Mantis in blue, Hong Kong. Nice little nice little example there. Rear engine. Let's go. Let's do a couple rear engines here. Let's do it. Got that one. I got a. Um, oh, this is a beautiful one. A Harry Holler in rose. Harry Holler. Late run. It's got the little metal piece in between the pipes. The early runs will not have that piece in between and the pipes ended up getting broken. So Mattel stiffened them up a little bit, made a little more resilient to uh, aggressive play wear. And they added that in there. Sometimes the canopy, the white canopy, it sticks up a little bit and that uh, that hatch won't close tight. But this is a nice one. Nice little rose, Harry Holler. Beauty right there, guys. Wow. These will be sold, too, on uh, the 26th of, of November on Studio Redline starting at 6 p.m. Central. If you want to stop by, love to have you, love to see you. Here's a little Torero in light blue. Let's see what's here. Actually, no, this is a aqua blue. I'll, I'll get to the bottom of that. It's really clean, actually. Actually, it's blue. Really unique color. A little bit of toning going on there. But, man, this is a nice rainbow piece to fit into your red line rainbows of uh, Toreros. And my other video, I, I, I interchanged Torero and Turbo Fire. I shouldn't have done that, but uh, they're easy to mix up. <laughs> um, oh, that was a that was a rear, that was a front engine. This is the last of the rear, en actually I have two more rear engines here. Here is a Indy, uh, a, um, is it Brabham? Yeah, Brabham Repco, nice chrome on the engine beautiful blue love that blue color wheels are nice well appointed water slides yeah a little a yeah, little, little doink right there with this with the sticker brabham hmm, that's a nice one let's keep all the engine the rear engines together let's do that make some space here here's a rear engine uh, this is a beauty. It is a um, Ferrari, I'm sorry, a Porsche 917. Porsche 917 in light green. This is a beautiful, you, uh, is it Hong Kong? Yeah, it is Hong Kong. You can tell by the blue lights and the blue glass. 
and then it's stamped on the bottom there, Hong Kong. Nice, clean, the edges. The consistency of the paint too, look at the color paint. Sometimes the hatch will be a different color, a slightly different shade of color, I should say. Maybe made a different part of the factory back in the day. The back there, and clean. Nice, super. Porsche 917, what a car, that's a beautiful car. That is a beaut. How about another rear engine? Okay, all right. You asked for it, we got it. How about a Ferrari 312P? Ferrari 312P. Beautiful. Green again. A little bit of Tony going on there, no stickers. Boy, this is a nice one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at the profile in the back. Isn't that cool? Beautiful profile of the rear tail lights base shiny it's a beautiful car guys this is going to be a top shelfer for somebody Let's scoop up this rear engine there put the rear engine right there so there are the rear engines what else oh the other ones are hidden engines so let's do this we'll do the hidden engines will all be the final the final four will be all hidden engines how about this guy here um <clears throat> chocolate or brown yep ford j car Check it out, Nick Clean. What a beauty. Unscathed. Got the peg stop. A little bit later run. Super shiny base. Another top shelf for here. Kazammer. Beautiful brown. I love that car. That is a sweetie pie for somebody. Hoof, they're going to add some beauty to their collection. Uh, I'm going to save that for the end. Uh, we'll do the next one here. Ferrari 512. Ferrari 512S. Really tough to make money on something like this. I'm, Mattel only made them for one year because of all the mechanisms there. Yeah, tougher to find in this uh, this color and also the um, to be somewhat clean. Nice base. Glass is still there. Only made in Hong Kong, of course. Thing weighs a ton, too. It's a very heavy piece. Put him right there. Two more to go. Antifreeze uh, Turbo Fire. Antifreeze Turbo Fire. Clean. Nice. A little hatch. Base. A little bit of tarnish on this one, but you know what? Pretty clean on the edges. The casting lines. And then the last one I kind of uh, saved for the end, and that is a color I don't see that often. It's a common car, but the Ford um, Mark IV in orange. I know there's a little bit of doodad on that, that sticker right there, but man, oh man, this is a nice color. Don't you love orange? Ooh, Spectra Flame orange on a Mark IV. Mm-hmm. Yep, tarnish on the base there, but so what? I'm looking for a nice little... Mark IV like this. Phew, man, orange? Are you kidding me? This is a nice car. I like it. I like it. A pin stop in the back there. Peg stop. All right, there it is, gang. Please um, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Always looking to you know bring this content to more and more redline people just like you. So do me a favor and uh, do those uh, for me. Do me a solid. And uh, I'll continue to do my part and get these beautiful red lines out to you to enjoy until then i hope to see you on friday the 26th of november six o'clock central standard time on studio red line on facebook studio red line i'll be selling these babies see you then bye bye